Are you ready for a cinematic comeback? After his unforgettable work on Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and Godzilla, the creator marks the long-awaited return of director Gareth Edwards, and we've got all these exciting details for you. The creator marks a massive comeback for director Gareth Edwards. You might remember him from the epic Rogue One A Star Wars story in 2016 and the monster-sized reboot of Godzilla in 2014. After a few years off the radar, Edwards is back, and fans couldn't be more thrilled. Actual footage from the 2020 explosion in the port of Beirut, Lebanon, has made its way into the creator. Yes, you heard that right. The explosion, which tragically claimed hundreds of lives and caused massive losses, is causing quite a stir. Some viewers believe that the footage used in the film is the real deal. This unique choice blurs the line between reality and fantasy, and it's sparking a ton of controversy. Originally, the creator was set to release on October 6, 2023. But guess what? They decided to surprise us. It's now opening exclusively in theaters on September 29, 2023 and it's even getting the IMAX treatment. So mark your calendars, because you won't want to miss this 135-minute sci-fi spectacle. The official trailer of The Creator features the classic tune Dream On by Aerosmith, a hit from way back in 1973. But here's the kicker, the song doesn't actually make it into the movie. Director Gareth Edwards couldn't resist using the track in the trailer, and he jokingly said, Steven Tyler owes me a Lamborghini now. The Creator was originally reported to be titled True Love, but Edwards had a change of heart. Why? Well, he thought True Love sounded a bit too much like a romantic comedy. Imagine the confusion if they'd stuck with that title. This movie is anything but a rom-com. The creator takes us on an introspective sci-fi adventure that perfectly balances action and philosophy. The story unfolds in a post-apocalyptic world caused by rogue AI. At one point, AI was introduced to protect humanity, but things went haywire. Picture AI-led detonations of nuclear warheads in Los Angeles, it's humans versus robots in an epic showdown. This film raises some thought-provoking questions about the potential dangers of AI. The production team found an ingenious way to save a boatload of cash. Instead of splurging on flashy visual effects, they sent a small crew to film an 80 location worldwide. Only after the editing was complete did they add those jaw-dropping effects. Gareth Edwards estimates they saved a staggering $220 million with this approach. The secret sauce, relying less on visual effects and more on real location. This is quite a departure from the modern blockbuster norm, and it's got everyone talking about movie-making magic on a budget. Ken Watanabe joined the The Creator cast after Benedict Wan had to step away due to scheduling conflicts. And here's a cool tidbit. Watanabe and Gareth Edwards have a history together from their work on Godzilla in 2014. The movie takes inspiration from the Vietnam War, adding a unique visual twist to the AI-driven storyline. Gareth Edwards promises a blend of visuals we've never seen before, mixing the horrors of war with the wonders of AI. Which aspect has piqued your curiosity the most? 